Hi, Maria May from The Casting On Couch here. It's been a long time since my last video, but I thought now would be a really good time to do a lace bobble stitch lockdown with you. See the description for written instructions and the chart that go with this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a stitch. Look out for my future uploads. I've got gloves to match this particular stitch so you'd learn how to work this stitch in the round. So keep safe and let's begin the lace bobble stitch lockdown. I'm using 4mm needles and a typical double knitting yarn. I would recommend the cable cast on as this creates a firm edge to your work but use the cast on that you're comfortable with. This lace bobble stitch pattern needs a multiple of 10 stitches plus 5. So in this demonstration I'd like you to cast on 25 stitches. Now that would be two sets of the repeat, i.e. 10 plus 10. And then you'll need 5 stitches. You'll need stitches to either side to balance the lace pattern itself and to create a selvage. Now row 1 is a wrong side row. And... To create our selvage, we are going to go into the first stitch as if to knit and we're going to slip it. So that's slip one knitwise and then ensuring that the yarn is at the front, we are going to purl to the last stitch. So I will show row one in full, but I'm going to assume some basic knowledge of being able to knit and purl. Now row one, the wrong side row, is repeated. So for example, row three and row five and row seven will be the same as row one. So we slip one knitwise and we purl to the last stitch and again we will slip one knitwise at the end when we get there. So this lace ball stitch pattern has a 16 row repeat. And the wrong side row that I'm demonstrating here is repeated frequently throughout this pattern. So ensuring the yarn is in the front, we can slip knitwise that very last stitch. So that's row one. Now for row two, a right side row. We're going to begin by knitting two. One. Two. And now we're going to follow the main pattern sequence. So let's begin by knitting three. One, two, three. Now insert your needle into the next set of two stitches on the left needle because we're going to knit both of them together. So that's knit two together. Now I want you to yarn forward, also called yarn over, so I'm going to refer to it as yarn forward, so it's the action of bringing the yarn to the front of the work and that will on the next row form a pretty eyelet stitch, so very important the placement of your yarn. Knit one, and you'll see as we knit one, we're halfway there to forming our eyelet, we've gained a stitch. 
So yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward again, slip one. I happen to be doing this knitwise, so slip one knitwise, knit one, and then I want you to pass the slip stitch over. So I'm trying to grasp the stitch with my left needle. I'm going to bring that over like so, so that forms a decrease. And then I want you to knit two, one, two. And that sequence is repeated again. It forms the main pattern. So let's do that again, knit three, one, two, three. Now knit two together. Yarn forward. Knit one. Yarn forward again, slip one, knit wise, knit one, and now pass the slip stitch over. So very carefully go and get that stitch and pass the slip stitch over and knit two. Now, if this has gone to plan, you'll be left with three stitches. One, two, three, that's perfect. We're going to knit the balance. One, two, three. So that's row two. Now, flip the work and repeat row one. So row three is exactly the same as row one. So remember we slip the first stitch knitwise. We have the yarn in front so that we can purl to the last stitch where we will then slip one again. Remember to slip that last stitch knitwise, keeping the yarn to the front for the end of row three. Now for row four, we are going to begin by knitting two, one, two. Now we're going to start the main pattern. So this time begin by knitting two. Now knit two together. Next, yarn forward or yarn over, knit three, one, that's two, three, yarn forward, slip one, knit wise, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over. and knit one. And that sequence is repeated a second time. So knit two, next knit two together. Yarn forward, knit three, one, two, three, yarn forward again, slip one knitwise, knit one, and then pass that slip stitch over and knit one. So that would be the second repeat completed, leaving you with three stitches and we knit those last three stitches. Now, 
turn the work and complete row 5 just as you have done row 1. Now for row 6, I want you to begin by knitting 2 stitches for the selvage. That's 1, 2, and now let's begin the main pattern. Begin by knitting one and next knit two together, yarn forward and knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Now yarn forward again, slip one knitwise, knit one, and now I want you to pass the slip stitch over, like so. Next, repeat that sequence again. So we're going to begin by knitting one, then knit two together, yarn forward and knit five, one, two, three, four, five, yarn forward again, slip one knitwise, knit one, and then pass the slip stitch over, and if you've done this correctly you're left with three selvage stitches and we can knit those last three stitches at the end. One, two, three. So that's row six. Now for row seven, I want you to complete the row just as row one. Row eight represents the halfway point of this lace bobble stitch pattern. It's also the most complicated row and also the one that we make the bobbles on. Now let's begin row eight. We're going to knit one and then we're going to increase one within the salvage. So let's knit that first. And then what I want you to do is bring up a strand. Now the strands that lie in between the stitch you've just worked and the one you're about to. So go into the stitch and place it on the left needle. And then so that I can knit into this, I'm just going to pull this stitch towards me so that I can go into it knitwise like so and create that additional stitch. So I've knitted one and I've made one. Now for the main pattern repeat. We're going to knit three together. So the next three stitches insert into all three as if to knit them. Mine are very tight. Let's do that again. So let's Go into all these three stitches as if to knit them. Bring the yarn around so that we can knit all three stitches together like so. Yarn forward, next knit three, one, two, three. Next we're going to make a bobble. So into the next stitch, what I want you to do is enter into it knitwise. And when we knit the stitch, we're just going to simply pull it through without removing it from the left needle. So bring the yarn to the front. So what we've got now is a knit one and a yarn forward. Go into that same stitch again and knit one. 
just pull it through leaving it on the right needle and the you know just leaving the stitch as is bring the yarn to the front again and now we can knit one and release it from the left needle so what we've done is we've we've knitted one we've yarn forward we've knitted one we've yarn forward we've knitted one we've created five stitches there from one turn the work and now I want you to purl these five stitches so that's one two three four five turn the work again and we are now going to knit two together and knit three that's two and that's three turn the work again and this time I want you to purl two together and purl two turn the work again we have three stitches remaining and we're going to enter into all three stitches and knit them together so that we have one stitch now to make the bobble nice and perky what I do is I wrap around the base so I wrap the yarn under go under again and then very tightly I bring that to the back and that gives your bobble a bit of definition next knit three one two three and yarn forward so that sequence is repeated one more time so into the next three stitches we are going to knit three together like so yarn forward knit three one two three into the next stitch make a bobble so remember we all into the same stitch we knit one we yarn forward we knit one we yarn forward we knit one all into the same stitch creating five stitches from one turn the work and purl these five stitches one two three four five turn the work knit two together knit three one two three turn the work now purl two together and purl two turn the work again and knit three together and you could leave your bobble like this but I like to do a little wrap at the base so that's optional and next knit three one two three 
and yarn forward. So next we are going to slip one knitwise, knit one, pass the slip stitch over and knit two. So that's row eight. Now complete row nine as row one. Row ten. Begin by knitting two. So that's one, two, and now for the main repeat pattern, we are going to knit one, yarn forward, slip one knitwise, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over. Next, knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Knit two together. So we've got our two stitches there. And finish by yarn forward. So that sequence needs repeating again. So knit one, yarn forward, slip one, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over, and knit five, one, two, three, four, five, knit two together and yarn forward. So this leaves three stitches and simply knit those three. So that's row 10 completed. Now for row 11, complete as row one. Row 12 now, begin by knitting two. So that's one, two. Now for the main pattern, knit two, one, two, yarn forward, slip one, knit one and pass the slip stitch over. Next knit three, one, two, three, knit two together, yarn forward and knit one. And repeat that main pattern again. So we begin by knitting two, one, two, yarn forward, we're slipping one knitwise, knitting one, pass the slip stitch over, And then we're going to knit three. One, two, three. Now knit two together. Yarn forward and knit one. So that's the end of the second repeat. The three stitches remaining, you will knit three. So that's row 12. Now turn the work and complete row 13 just as row 1. Row 14 begin 
by knitting two. So that's one, two. Now for the main repeat pattern. So knit three, one, two, three. Yarn forward, slip one, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over, knit one, knit two together. Let me go into those two stitches again, that's better. Knit two together, yarn forward and knit two. And then we want to repeat that sequence again. So knit three, one, two, three, yarn forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over, knit one, knit two together, let me try that again, knit two, together, yarn forward and knit two. So that's the second repeat completed and you have three stitches in which to knit for the salvage. So that's row 14. Let's turn the work and complete row 15 just as we did row 1. Row 16 is the final row and a bobble making row of this lace bobble stitch pattern repeat. I want you to begin by knitting two. And then into the next stitch, we're going to make a bobble. So if you remember, we knitted one we did a yarn forward, we knitted one, did a yarn forward and knitted one all into the same stitch. So we've got five stitches there from one. Turn the work and purl those five stitches. five, turn the work and back to the right side we knit two together now and then knit three, one, two, three, turn the work and this time I want you to Purl two together and purl two. Turn the work and finish the bobble by knitting three together. And you now have the option of wrapping around the base of the bobble tightly, getting it into a nice position there to finish. Next, knit three, one, two, three. Yarn forward and knit three together. So entering into the next three stitches 
will form that decrease. Yarn forward again and knit three, one, two, three. Now I want you to repeat that sequence for a second time. So into the next stitch, create that bobble. So going into it, we are knitting one, yarn forward, knitting one, yarn forward, and knitting one, creating five stitches from one, turn the work and purl one, two, three, four, five. So purl those five stitches there, turn the work, knit two together and knit three. Turn the work again, purl two together and then purl two. Turn the work and finish this bobble by knitting three together. And then bring the yarn around the base of the bobble. And the yarn now to the back. And we can continue to knit three. Next, I want you to yarn forward and knit three together. like so, yarn forward and knit three, one, two, three. Now we have three stitches remaining and we're going to use salvage, we're going to in fact make a bobble on this next stitch. So into that stitch, remember we are knitting one, Yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward again, and knit one to create five stitches from one. Now turn the work and we want to purl five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the work, knit two together and knit three. One, two, three. Turn the work, purl two together, purl two. Turn the work, and this time knit three together. And we're completing our bobble by setting it into a nice position by wrapping around the base. And we end the row by knitting two. So that's row 16 and when you repeat rows 1 to 16 you continue to build this beautiful lace bobble stitch pattern.